Good morning, good evening or good afternoon folks from my tidy kitchen or untidy I should say. I've been a bit under the weather with uh, different ailments so things get a bit messed up you know you're probably the same if you're a one man bad you don't feel too good uh, so I've been a bit careful because my kitchen's a bit of a mess but anyway that's another story about that. Uh, anyway what it is uh, it's been a lovely sunny day. I haven't used my EcoFlow solar generator uh, over the winter time because where I've got my solar panels on my shed, uh, they don't really catch the sun. Anyway, today I switched it on, it got 47%, and um, I put it in my motor home because I hopefully want to get away soon. I just connected it to the one 375 watt panel. I was surprised uh, how quick it charged up. Uh, I'd been out and about this morning, I got back and it's 100%, so I thought, hey yo, I'll do me dinner. Because normally, through the summer, this is what I use to do all my cooking. It works perfect through this from March. I used it from March till end of October. It worked perfect in the garden, charging it all when I'm out to me camper. But I didn't bother. Um, and I reckon it saved me about £30 a month uh, on my electric. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you the EcoFlow solar generator here. I'm just going to pause it a minute. Right, so for those of people that don't know what it is, it's uh, what they are. Basically, it's got like a lithium type battery built in. So you can run it right down from 100% to nothing. You charge it with a solar, it's not connected to the charger at the moment, so it's got 99 hours on there. So what I've done, I've connected it to the Scoville uh, air fryer. Uh, what I'm gonna do first of all, I've got a jacket potato, uh, which the microwave should be uh, connected up to that. Just hang on one sec, wait there folks. Yeah, with the Eco, if you get an app, now I'm just looking to find out which is the one I've got to use. I haven't used it for a bit, um, so let me just see, just do that. That's it. Right, so you just uh, heard me microwave. You can switch the pair on from there, so there's the Megatron or microwave with me jacket in. So we're going to uh, see how it goes now I've got to, what I do is I soften the jacket up so I'm just doing that before I start cooking the uh, chicken but uh, just hang on there a sec right so this the air fryer and the microwave are on at the same time and it's using 2600 watts it says this will only last 30 minutes, but it will last longer than that. It's a bit like a tree ball mint, as you'll see. I normally use a smaller um, air fryer because that uses less watts. But anyway, join me in a bit. Right, I've turned the air fryer off here and I've got my kettle on, so I'm going to make a coffee. It's now drawing 2000 watts. I won't have the microwave on for much longer, then I'm going to stick the air fryer back on, get that chicken done. So the kettle's on. This is all off the sunshine. Um, it's, it's a brilliant setup. I don't normally have this in the kitchen. I normally have it locked away somewhere uh, at the house, secure. So um, just connect the solar panels to it. But uh, it's a brilliant bit of kit. It's got all the USB plugs at the front here and at the back I think it's got four or six household plug points there so catch them this is the EcoFlow um, solar generator I forgot which model it is but uh, this one's about £2,000 just to give you an idea on the cost of this one so we'll catch you in a bit right so I've got three chicken legs they're from uh, Lidl and a jacket potato in. So I usually cut a little slit in the spud each end 
just spray it with a little bit of oil and it's in there now so I just wait for my kettle to boil I can run the two at the same time but I'll just wait for that to boil then uh, we'll get these cooking when I put the chicken in um, I usually have them this way around and I'll turn them over I've got the bigger air fryer which I possibly would have used that this is the Asda George it's about 7 litre this is the Scoville 4.2 litre both good air fryers I've got one more might be able to show you it's just hiding over there the little one that's the two just over a two litre the Sat Sattler I think it is it's another good little one and that's a good bit of equipment there the slow cooker anyway that's another story see you in a minute folks right kettle's about to boil uh, th this solar generator works brilliant on the induction of it boils the water quicker but this is pretty good this is a camping kettle it's a low wattage so it's ideal save you a bit of dollar see you in a minute right so we're under starters orders I'm just going to tell me watch hey Siri set timer for 10 minutes 10 minutes counting down thank you watch I'm just going to pause in a sec yeah hi folks again thanks for joining me don't forget if I haven't said subscribe to the channel I know there's better uh, folks doing these videos than me but I'm only a one man band I'll do my best and I know a lot of people do appreciate especially about the cooking so the um, I'm just going to take the tracking off me a bit so uh, the Scoville's on the go you can see I've got a bit of wood on there because I don't use the uh, cooker anymore um, I only use my household oven at Christmas just to uh, keep things warm because I had 12 people around I cooked everything on the uh, air fryers and I used the one slow cooker um, to do all the Christmas dinner the other day I cooked a lovely pork joint in the bigger uh, air fryer in the, um, the large one, the Asda George one anyway uh, so at the moment we got, I'll just spin you Right, so uh, it says it's going to flatten the battery in 46 minutes and it's do, using 1500 watts at the minute but what will happen shortly and I'll try and show you that will go once it gets up to temperature that will cut down now the little one I've got only does 800 to 900 watts and that's what I use for the motor but it doesn't matter today if I run it right down because hopefully I'm going to see tomorrow I'm going to put it back into the camper and it's on that one solar panel and see how it does but it was a lovely sunny day today and I was surprised how well it done so I'm going to bring you back round to me right I've used some of this could be named after me jerk I'm a bit of one uh, but I've used the Caribbean jerk style seasoning this is from um, own bargain it's only a pound or a dollar or just over a euro depending where you are um, it's uh, it's pretty good so uh, I'm going to tell you a little depressing story in a sec wait there yeah on uh, I think it was Monday last week I had the heating on so I was doing some washing I'm going to probably, I've got a tumble dryer, I don't use it, but uh, I might have to try that because to dry me clothes. But anyway, I put the heating on in the morning and on the evening I had it on, um, on low because I had the diesel heater on in my lounge and the thermostat was in my lounge so it was keeping it pretty low, the heating, but it used um, the gas and electric, it used £10 for that day, so I quickly turned the heating off. Uh, and then when my daughter came the weekend, I had the heating on Friday night and um, just check this now. Yeah, I'm just going to show you something. I'll clean, put, clean, I'm just going to speak. tell you the story in a sec. I want to show you this. It's now using 30, absolutely nothing. It's just gone back on there, but it cuts down. So it, the minutes have gone up to 44 minutes. Uh, this will keep dropping down, but I'll, I'll try and show you again in a sec. Hang on. Hang on there set folks. Oh, back to me. 
anyway so my daughter was here and all I've done I turned the thermostat down on the uh, control of the heating from 21 down to 18 everything seemed warm so I left the heating on on Saturday uh, Sunday my daughter was here I thought this is great I didn't even have the diesel heater on I thought this is fantastic because I was looking at my smart meter and it said you've used 26 pounds this week you know and I thought that's fantastic you know why am I being so tight anyway I pressed another button on the uh, smart meter it went to 49 pounds so uh, I had the shock so it actually used for the whole week just using the heat heating on a Monday and a Friday night and a bit over the weekend it cost me 50 quid you know uh, so but people say well you've got the money Roy well I haven't got that much but I'd rather use the money towards a new drone or holiday than waste it on um, the electric you know so anyway I'll update you on the cooking in a sec yeah I've turned the air fryer up to full full volume and then you can see now this is on it's not it's cut the electric off it's just using 34 34 33 watts you can see it's once it gets up to temperature it cuts down now it says it's got 18 hours left the cooking time for 40 minutes so we'll see if it does it's just switched back on now um, but this is brilliant anyway I've just spotted the sky outside so I'm gonna have to go and put my drone up now so I'll see you in a minute yeah hi folks I'm back <laughs> I just uh, got a new drone DJI Mini 3 Pro and I have been flying it this afternoon uh, but I got a bit cold out so I've come back there's a lovely uh, sunset if I remember I might just clue one photo in somewhere about now anyway back to the cooking um, I'll just show you it I'll just pause you for a second and wait there right it's it keeps switching the power off it's 31 watts still got 70% left on the battery now because uh, I was flying the drone I uh, I went a bit over on the time so I've just I've sw switched everything over let's see if I can show you quickly it's all cooking now I've got the jacket potato chicken let's stick that back in now um, so I'll update you when it's done I'll have to boil the kettle again what I am going to do I'm having jacket potato uh, chicken and beans I'll warm them up in the microwave the kettle's gone cold now I'll have to warm the water up for my coffee so I'll let you know how much uh, voltage it's used well how much percent's left after doing all my cooking so we'll it's doing well at the moment this is all off the sunshine today it's brilliant a bit of free electric can't beat that right so the chicken's all cooked I'll just put the thermometer in it's 86% the jacket potatoes nice and crispy so just got to warm my beans up now and I've got I'll just get it back on uh, I've got 57% of the uh, solar generator now that really what I might do tonight I can run my laptop and um, light in the range on that and I'll probably charge it up again tomorrow and if it's if it's sunny save me a bit of dollar so catch you in a sec right time to get tucked in now I've got the jacket done beans are doing the microwave I'm just going to show you because I've, I've even used the microwave to warm my beans up so let's have a look now right so I've got 54% left in here so that's boiled my kettle cooked my chicken extra chicken for tomorrow as well jacket potato and the beans 54% that was all done on the sun sunshine today which is fantastic so uh, catch you in a bit yeah hi folks well I'm going to end the video now I'm going to get talking hungry I'm starving I'm going to be dinner so hope you like this little video as usual don't forget to like and subscribe big thumbs up to everybody thanks for watching as it says on the tin 
follow me and subscribe uh, let's hope there's peace in Ukraine we'll see you on another video folks thanks for joining me bye for now bye